Perhaps a handful of athletes in the world enjoyed the status of Oscar Pistorius, a global sporting superstar with the brightest of futures ahead of him. That's all in the distant past now. Having taken Riva Stienkamp's life, Pistorius has been fighting for his own. The maximum sentence, 25 years without parole for premeditated murder. Prosecutors have shown little mercy. You know that the same happened to Riva's head. It exploded. Have a look. My lady, I was there that night. I... That's it. Have a look there, mister. I know you don't want to because you don't want to take responsibility, but it's time that you look at it. This case may rest on the athlete's own testimony. And I sat over Reba and I cried. And um, I don't know, I don't know how long... <coughs> I don't know how long I was there for. Emotional. <laughs> she wasn't breathing. Apparently inconsistent, but a liar exposed or a broken man under intense pressure. The one thing that stood out to me about his time on the stand was, first of all, just how long he was kept on the stand in cross-examination, and secondly, how aggressive Harry Nell was in cross-examining cross Pistorius. Much of the forensics are common cause, Perhaps the principal disputed evidence remains who heard what. Has the defence cast reasonable doubt on accounts of a woman's screams and shots? I understand you <coughs> believing that the noises that you heard were gunshot noises. I understand that. But you have to factor in the following. One that once you know, subsequently, you get that confirmation for your belief that the woman was shot by Mr. Pistorius. It cements, that knowledge cements your belief. Ultimately though, it may come down to why. The accused did admit that the fired shot that killed the deceased. Whether it was intentional, or it was uh, not intentional, is what the court must determine. Rarely has a trial been so widely watched and so intensely scrutinised. The whole world, it seems, has poured over the evidence, and yet not even the sharpest legal minds can quite agree on which way the next chapter in this extraordinary, tragic tale may go when Oscar Pistorius walks through the doors behind me in just a few hours. That chapter has already been written, though, and it is only the view, ultimately, of Judge Tokazile Masipa that counts. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Pretoria, South Africa.